Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of my Mega Park. Now, um, well, this is not actually an ex episode of my Mega Park. Um, this video is a short tutorial on, uh, yeah, ten things you should do uh, before you actually save the park and submit it uh, for a contest, for example, or before you uh, share it with others. Um, now, yeah, this video will mostly be geared to players like me who play the game for aesthetic uh, purposes. So you're trying to make a park that looks as cool as possible. We usually play without money, etc, etc. So, um, yeah, let's just uh, get on with it. Um, yeah. So the first thing you should probably do before you uh, save the park is, uh, well, most uh, most of the people who play in our contests uh, actually um, disable uh, all breakdowns uh, while playing. Now that's uh, nice and all, you won't have any breakdowns uh, to disturb you while while you're playing. But um, yeah, as soon as you reopen the park, or let's say uh, you save the park, and then uh, you play again and the cheat is not enabled, then all the rides will immediately start breaking down. And that uh, will probably also happen to the person uh, you sent the park to. Because uh, yeah, there's a high chance they don't have this cheat enabled uh, as they open the park. And you definitely don't want all the rides to immediately break down when they open the park. So before you save, uh, go to the cheat menu, go to this little uh, icon of the spiral slide, press fix all rides, renew rides, then save the park. And uh, that should stop all the rides from uh, breaking down immediately and it will reset their reliability to 100%. Okay, uh, the next point. Uh, well, it might sound obvious, but uh, make sure the rides you want the viewer to see are actually opened. I quite often receive an uh, entry where the actual ride that the viewer or that the park creator tries to show off is actually still in test mode. Uh, make sure the rides that you want the viewer to see are opened. And might also be nice to ha actually have some guests uh, go on the ride. Okay, for the, thir the third point. Um, yeah, you should actually change the weather to uh, what you want the viewer to see when they open the park. Usually sunny weather is the nicest. Uh, I believe if you uh, open the park and immediately uh, change the weather and then save it, it will stay that kind of weather for a while. Um, yeah, uh, if you uh, I sometimes receive a park where it's uh, raining for no uh, reason at all. Rain makes the park look a little bit more uh, gloomy. Uh, so yeah. It m rain might be uh, what you want the park to have um, when the viewer sees it, but of course if it's raining, uh, guests will also refuse to go on uh, certain rides. So it's uh, usually best to just keep the weather sunny uh, and then save it and then submit the park. Might be uh, you might want uh, to have something else for aesthetic reasons, like a blizzard. <laughs> but yeah, usually it's best to just keep sunny weather. Um, the fourth point that I want to uh, talk about is uh, grass. Now over time uh, grass beco becomes more uh, messy. You might want to uh, mow the grass. Now, here you can see the grass that's in its normal state. Um, yeah, I, uh, I always recommend to uh, mow the grass before you uh, save the game. So there's a cheat for that over here. Simply mow grass or you can do clear grass, whatever you want. But in my opinion, these both look better than the uncapped grass. Uh, and usually the uncapped grass, uh, yeah, it, it just feels a little bit uh, lazy if you still have it in the park. And it generally makes uh, areas of your park look a little bit unfinished. So yeah, just mow the grass or keep it clear like this. And I think this uh, will make it look very nice and uh, tidy. Alright, um, the next point is... Uh, well, you should probably fix the fan any vandalism in your park. I usually play with vandalism disabled. But uh, if you don't, uh, well, you might have some vandalism in your park uh, when you when you uh, save it. So yeah, there's also a cheat for this. Uh, fix vandalism. There we go. And all the vandalism in the park should be fixed. Now, it could be that you actually want to have some vandalism in your park. You may It could, could be that you have a post-apocalyptic park or something. So you can simply uh, select this path tile in Tile Inspector, click the footpath and check the check mark for uh, addition is broken. Might be a little bit difficult to see with this bench, but the bench is now uh, actually broken. You can also do it with this lamp here for example. 
uh, addition is broken and now the lamp is all uh, twisted over here but yeah um, if you don't want this simply go here click fix vandalism and all the stuff should be fixed again right uh, another uh, step why well, it's uh, it's kind of like the previous steps uh, could be a lot of litter in your park uh, before you save it of course you could let your handyman uh, do it all but it's also a cheat to remove the litter it's a very easy way to get rid of the, all the litter in your park uh, there might be some uh, litter in the spots you missed um, before you save especially in a big park like this uh, litter is actually quite a problem but yeah, you can simply remove it before you save it and the viewer won't ever see any uh, vomit or litter in the park uh, except of course for the stuff that gets dropped after they open it okay um, here's another point also pretty uh, obvious but uh, make sure you actually have guests in the park uh, when the viewer opens it i sometimes receive parks where uh, the rides have been opened the park ha has been opened but there are not actually any guests in the park yet and i think uh, yeah, having an empty park just isn't as nice. Uh, I now pressed 6 to uh, hide the guests. And, well, obviously there's a lot of movement in this park, of course. But, uh, yeah, some parts of your park will just look like a ghost town if there are actually no uh, guests in the park. So, yeah, uh, you definitely want to make sure that the, get, that the viewer actually views the park when there are guests walking around in it. It adds a lot of movement to the park and just makes it feel alive. Here, over here, it's a little bit, uh, yeah, it looks a little bit uh, less interesting when there's not actually any guests walking around. So yeah, when you uh, just opened a park, just uh, give it, uh, give it a few in-game years. You could even speed it up, speed it up. Just make sure the guests are everywhere in the park, and only then save it and uh, share it with your viewers. I think they will appreciate your park a lot more if you do that. Okay, um, here's a uh, thing that uh, a lot of uh, people don't really uh, yeah, take into account. Um, you'll want the viewer to actually see a spot that's uh, very interesting when they open the park. Now, if I save the game over here, then whenever I open the save or whenever a viewer opens the save, it will also uh, be opened exactly in this spot. So when you save the game, uh, don't save, uh, let's say, over here. Uh, I often receive uh, save files that are something somewhat like this. This is not what you want the viewer to see when you open the park. You want the viewer to uh, yeah, maybe see this when they open the park, a, zoomed out, a big zoomed out version of the mega park. Or maybe you want them to see the entrance of the park uh, and with, uh, with a nice coaster here. So yeah, definitely make sure that you save in a spot that's interesting for the viewer. You immediately want to draw them in. And that also brings me to the next point. Uh, if there's a ride uh, in the view, um, then make sure the ride's at an interesting moment. For example, we do these ride creation contests where the, get, uh, where the players who join actually have to, have to build a certain type of a ride or a certain type of roller coaster. Now, um, when the viewer opens the park, you want them to immediately be able to follow the coaster into action. For example, I've now paused the game here, and this coaster has just climbed the lift hill almost to the top. So now, whenever the viewer opens this park, um, yeah, they can immediately follow the coaster into action. You may actually want the coaster train to just leave the station and maybe zoom it out a bit more so the viewer can actually first appreciate a bit of the surroundings but you definitely don't want uh, the ride to have to wait very long before it uh, actually uh, runs uh, yeah you definitely want the viewer to actually be able to immediately follow the ride and another point that uh, is also important for this is how to actually have some guests uh, on the ride um, yeah, a ride with uh, guests in it is just so much more interesting to follow. Uh, could be that your ride is too intense so the no guests will actually ride it. Or uh, could be that you just open the ride or may still be in test mode. Definitely make sure that there are actually guests on the ride. And it will uh, make it so much nicer for the viewer to actually follow the ride. 
an empty train is just not as uh, not as interesting to follow as a full train. So yeah, keep that in mind. Now, and now uh, here's the last thing I want to uh, talk about in this video. Um, you can actually add custom news messages to your uh, to your park. So here, of course, in the bot at the bottom, you have this bar where uh, ride breakdown messages. Uh, are uh, displayed or when a ride crashes, uh, stuff like that. You can also add your own messages. I actually made a tutorial about it, so I'm not going to fully explain it in this uh, video. Uh, of course, you can just look for the video. It's uh, I believe it's called custom messages uh, for your park. But yeah, just going to quickly show you how to do it. Um, not in very much detail, but you can open the in-game console and you type add. Uh, underscore news underscore item uh, let's do a zero here because we don't really care about the category then uh, between uh, yeah, these brackets will uh, or whatever the symbol is <laughs> uh, we'll just add our message uh, hello welcome to my mega park you are awesome all right, and when we now press enter, it should make a custom message that says successfully add a news item. All right, the game is still paused, so it doesn't immediately display it. And then now we could save the game, then share it with the person we want to see the park. And then when they open the park, they will see custom messages here. So yeah, you could write some stories here. You can have multiple of these uh, messages. It will simply buffer all of them and they will be displayed one after another as soon as the viewer opens the park. So yeah, just a nice thing to, uh, to add to the park. Now it doesn't actually display the message now, so maybe I did something wrong. <laughs> but yeah, you can uh, definitely watch the tutorial and uh, uh, see how to actually do it. All right, uh, I hope this uh, tutorial was useful for you. Um, I hope to uh, get some really nice uh, save files so that they immediately drop you into the action after this. Yeah, I will see you again in the next video. See you later.